When drawing atoms, we only need to really think about the electrons because we will be drawing the electron structure of the atom. Now, if you remember, the electrons exist in energy levels or electron shells around the nucleus of the atom. So if this was the nucleus where all the protons and neutrons sit, the electrons instead wouldn't be in here, but they'd sit in these energy levels which are around the outside of the atom. Now, these um, electron shells have very particular rules. Now, the very inner shell can only hold up to two electrons. So it can have a maximum of two electrons. Any other shell outside can have up to, the so other shells can have up to eight electrons. So that's a really important rule when drawing um, the electron structure of atoms. The inner shell can only have two and the outer shell can have up to eight electrons. Now the electrons fill from the inside first. So you fill up a shell and before you move on to the next shell outside. So that's important too. So if we were to draw um, a, an atom by its electron structure, we would need to know how many electrons are in that atom. So if we chose hydrogen, that's the smallest atom on the periodic table. If we looked at hydrogen, it has a mass of one and a proton number of one as well. Now it's the proton number that we're interested in. So if it's got one proton, it's also got one electron. So hydrogen's very small and very easy to draw because it has one electron. So we start with the innermost shell and we draw one electron with a cross on it like that. And that represents hydrogen. If we look at the next biggest element, we've got helium. Helium has a proton number of two, has two electrons. I'm just going to draw electrons with an E with a little dash to show electrons. Therefore, it again only has one shell and it has two electrons in that inner shell. The next atom that I want to draw is lithium. That is again getting bigger and this is now one period down on the periodic table and as you go down the periods you gain an electron shell. So hydrogen and helium are right at the top. If we go down a period, so down a row like this to where lithium and beryllium sit, then these have an extra shell. So to draw lithium we start off with the inner shell. It's got three electrons, so three electrons we fill up the inner shell first and then we've got one more electron to draw. Now we can't draw it here because of this rule. It can only have a maximum of two electrons on the inner shell. So we can't put another one on here. So this is why we have to draw the other shell. So we draw another electron shell around it onto which we place that third electron. So we have one, two, three electrons all together. If we were to draw the next atom up, we'd have beryllium. The next atom along the periodic table is beryllium. And that, again, we start building up. It's got four electrons. We can tell that by the proton number, which is also the same number of electrons. We draw two on the inner shell, and then we draw the extra two on the outer shells. Now have a go at drawing carbon yourself. So carbon has a mass of 12 and a proton number of 6. Pause the video and try drawing the electron structure of carbon. So you should have seen that carbon has 
six electrons. So we start building up. It's got two on the inner shell. And on the next shell up, it has four electrons. So that in total, it has one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. So if we look at drawing something a little bit bigger, we can draw sodium. Sodium has an atomic mass of 23 and a proton number of 11. So it's got 11 electrons. So we start with the inner shell, where we draw two. We add another shell, because we've still got more electrons to draw. And we can add up to eight, remember, in this shell. So two, four, six, eight. Ten electrons is where we are now. But we need 11. We can't just add an electron here because that breaks the rules. The next shells can only have a maximum of 8. So we have to draw another shell with that final electron on the outside. Now have a go at drawing chlorine. Pause the video now and try drawing chlorine. Chlorine has 17 electrons, so we start building up two. On the next shell, we can draw eight. And on the final shell, we need to draw another seven because we only have 10 so far. Two here, eight on the outside makes 10, and we need 17 overall. So we can draw seven on that shell. You will need to draw up to the size of calcium. Calcium is the biggest um, element that you will need to draw. So have a go, pause the video and try drawing the electron structure of calcium. So you should see that calcium have 20 electrons. So we start in the middle, two electrons, build up the outer shells, eight in the next one, that's 10 altogether. 8 in the next one, but we're only on 18 at the moment and we need 20. Remember the rules, the outer ones or the shells other than the inner ones can only have 8. So we need two more, so we need to give it yet another shell. And add our electrons on there. So calcium, 20 electrons, is going to have 4 shells. That's why it is four rows down on the periodic table. So if you start at the top where hydrogen and helium are, that's row one, two, three, four. So we call the rows periods. Calcium is in the fourth period of the periodic table, hence why it has got four electron shells or energy levels. One, two, three, four. So that's the biggest one you're going to have to draw. And there's a couple of important points linking to the periodic table that you need to get from this as well. And that is the number of electrons in the outer shell is the same as the group number. As the group number. That means that, for example, calcium here, which has one, two electrons in the outer shell, will be found in group two of the periodic table. Chlorine, which has seven electrons in the outer shell, will be found in group seven of the periodic table. and Sodium, which has one electron in the outer shell, will be found in group one of the periodic table. So if we look at those three elements on here, we have sodium, which ends up with one electron in the outer shell found in group one. We had chlorine, which has got seven electrons in the outer shell. That is found in group seven. And we had calcium, 
which has two electrons in the outer shell and that's found in group two. So the group number tells you how many electrons there are in the outer shell and the period one, two, three, four, etc., tells you how many electron shells there are. The final thing to notice is that we have something called group zero. And group zero is called group zero because it contains elements with a full outer shell, but we can't call it group eight because not everything has ele eight electrons in its outer shell because of this helium here. Helium, as we saw before, has got two electrons, so its outer shell is full because it only has one shell. But neon, for example, that's helium. Neon, for example, is in group zero as well because it has a full outer shell. but that is an outer shell with eight electrons in because it has 10 electrons all together, two in the inner shell and eight in the outer shell. You should be able to recognize also the electron structure of atoms in a number form. For example, calcium would be 2882, which represents the um, number of electrons in each of its energy levels with two being in the first shell then eight then eight then two so you should be able to draw an atom given its electron configuration you should also be able to recognize which atom it is from its electron configuration and be able to tell for example that it has two electrons in the outer shell and therefore you'd find it in group two. So pause the video and see if you can recognize what atom would have the electron configuration two six. So you're looking for an atom first of all that is in group six and that has a total of two plus six which equals eight electrons so you should have found that that was oxygen now try and write the electron configuration for magnesium pause the video so if you found magnesium in the periodic table you will see that it's got 12 electrons so that would be two in the first shell eight in the next shell and then two in the final shell.